Now to a story of animal conservation. The killing of Cecil the lion by an American hunter triggered a wave of public disgust last month, but the practice continues today with hunters willing to pay thousands of dollars to shoot captive bred animals. A new documentary is hoping to change all of that by shining a light on the practice. Here is a short clip from Bloodlines. I think South Africa is most probably one of the only places in the world where we breed lions commercially. And we breed them for hunting. We're talking of six to 8,000 lions in captivity. It's not against the law. It's extremely unethical and immoral and against the animal's welfare, but it's not against the law. Breeding wild animals is no sin. Part of the story, part of the narrative is brutality. Every single day in South Africa, at least two to three captive bred and bred tame lions are being slaughtered in canned hunt. That's the phrase canned hunting that we all came to learn after that outrage. Ian Mickler has spent the last 25 years working as a conservationist, wilderness guide and photojournalist across Africa and he features in the documentary. He joins us now. Ian, good morning. Nice to meet you. How did the, the issue of, um, of canned hunting come to your attention? Well, about 20 years ago, I was living in the Okavanga Delta in Botswana, and I started investigating the sustainability of hunting wild lions. And very quickly, it took me to the breeding farms of South Africa. And at about that same time, there was a report called the Cook Report, which was a British uh, investigative TV program. And they, for the first time, exposed to the world that people were paying sums of money to come and shoot captive bred lions in sometimes very confined areas. How, how big, how lucrative an industry is it in parts of Africa? Well, we have now about 200 facilities. So these are mostly private farms run by farmers and businessmen who are holding somewhere between six and possibly as many as 8,000 of these predators the vast majority lions, and they're charging anywhere from $5,000 for a lioness right the way up to about $50,000 for what they call a black-maned lion. I'll play the devil's advocate. If um, these people are, these, I'm sorry, if these animals are being uh, reared and farmed for that use, how does that differ, differ from us farming and rearing other animals for our own personal use, for example, sheep and, and cattle? Well, I think, I mean, all of us have a clear distinction There's a, a, between domesticated animals and wild animals. Um, you know, in our poetry, in our psychology, in our emotional beings, we, we do distinguish between these animals. They represent different things to us. Domestic animals were domesticated thousands of years ago when we were inextricably linked to our environment. Uh, we have no need to be domesticating these wild creatures now. So it's just for someone to shoot them for fun. One other devil's advocate question has to be, and we were told this at the time of that, of that particular outrage of Cecil the Lion, that some money from so-called canned hunting actually goes back to the idea of, of sustaining populations in the wild, that, that it's part of, the, um, of, of the, the zookeeping culture in some African countries. Is that true? Is that your no, understanding? No, it, it's completely untrue. These are businesses being run by farmers. The money is going straight into their pockets. None of this is being, uh, it would, none of this involves any major conservation agency. There's not a single lion ecologist in Africa who has anything to do with any of these breeders or the can hunters. So that is a complete and utter rubbish story. Where did the hunters come from? Well, obviously it was an American involved in the shooting of Cecil the Lion. No, is, is it mainly Americans, mainly Europeans? Well, most of the hunters are from the USA. About, I think it's about 54% of the hunters that come to South Africa annually. But they're also coming from Denmark, from Spain, from Italy, from Germany. And then we get Russians, Czechoslovakians. Right. So they're coming from, from all over the world. 99% um, are from outside of Africa. And, and Ian, if these lions have been raised in captivity, it can't be a particularly challenging hunt. It, it mustn't be hard to shoot them. No, it's, it's uh, all so-called professional hunting bodies have these charters which talk about ethics, they talk about fair chase, uh, and of course they talk about the conservation contribution. 
But when you look at can hunting, it doesn't do any of those things. So there's no fair chase involved. It's completely unethical. And um, your, your kill is guaranteed and nothing is going to conservation. It's purely about businessmen breeding these animals for profit. All right. Well, look, it's been really interesting meeting you. And no doubt the documentary is going to get a strong response as well. Thanks so much for joining us, Ian. Thank you very Thanks, much Ian. for having me. Ian Mickler there from uh, Blood Lions.